weed because we might have another one come in. That young buck came in first a while back and he fed out and then came back in and we were filming him. And all of a sudden Steven looks to his left and says, big buck, big buck. And he had no shot whatsoever. He was behind this little thick stuff right here and he just couldn't get a lane to shoot. Him and I decided that we were gonna switch it on the camera and I'll shoot because he killed a buck about that size last year. Oh, dude, I can't stop shaking. <laughs> I don't know. And that young buck had us picked off. He came directly where he left out at, walked this whole field looking at us the entire time, and that bigger buck had no idea. They actually crossed paths and that other buck came behind us to get a better look at us. And he had us picked. He saw us. My strap kept getting caught in these leaves right here and it was making a lot of ruffling sounds. I was luckily able to put it in my hand. That deer started blowing and that buck was angled this way so I thought maybe he'd walk this way. And he did, dude. We pulled the switcheroo. Got him. Switcheroo, baby. Got him. That's my first buck in two years two seasons having killed one but we're gonna quiet down he dropped right there so it's not gonna be a hard tracking job i'm in here with the shotgun <sighs> we're gonna quiet down though because they're moving right now obviously so hopefully steven get a shot maybe we'll double up so fingers crossed man but dude <laughs> let's go <laughs> this is crazy we've been sitting there after david shot his buck and literally Another little small little four pointer comes walking right into our right right here and doesn't spook or nothing and walks about 10 yards, 15 yards behind us and literally looks at us the whole time and starts to walk off and then comes back and starts looking at us again and was very interested but just a young law little buck but he, he just walked off so we're gonna sit a little while and then go look at David's buck here in a second. Alright guys, well, here he is, like I said, wasn't much of a track job. This hunt was absolutely insane. We got in here a couple days ago, threw some cameras out, threw some feed out, and let it go yesterday. Yesterday rained, pushed our scent away. Today we came back and, I mean, at 5, what was it, 5.10, we already had bucks rolling in the field. We had that one buck, he went out, when he came back in, he was looking this way, and I told Steven, man, he's looking that way for a reason. And Steven said, buck, buck, buck. We've always talked about doing the switcheroo and it actually happened today. He just didn't have a shot in this thick stuff. And I told him, I said, all right, well, let's switch. I'll shoot, you take the camera. And as we were doing so, that smaller buck picked us out. And he finally spooked off and he started blowing a little bit and it got this buck a little bit antsy. And luckily he was in a place where I could see him good and he took a couple more steps and I was able to take the shot. So this is the first buck that I've killed and two years so definitely happy and fortunate that I was able to do this along with my buddy Steven. I was in that same exact position last year that he's in now filming him kill his first buck ever so I'm glad we can share this moment together and they were moving today. October 23rd we got a buck down so thanks you guys for tuning in. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel. We got a lot more content coming soon as the rut starts to pick up and should be interesting so thank you guys for viewing. Stay with the processor boy.